Welcome back. Ultimate Feed the Beast Reloaded, episode 35. I'm an Igneous, and we're in the head of a giant freaking creeper. Uh, today we're doing another update video. I've been very busy, and, and you'll see very, very shortly here uh, the single greatest obstacle to the completion of the Mega Creeper, and that is lag. And the atrocious frame rate I get anywhere near the creeper and I think it has something to do with over 8,000 microblock covers um, providing the skin for the creeper so I'm aware of that if you're looking at this thinking doesn't he know that his frame rate is shit yes oh I know I, I know very very well but we've made some really good progress and I just wanted to update you guys because it's been three or four days since the last video so what have we got well we've got Faces and what I did was I took that list format that I had with the Lua explicitly saying put a cover here and a cover here and blah 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 and changed it to a table format which we will be able to see fairly easily here so this here from the 121 that you see all the way down to the 852 that's one face pattern and then we've got another one here, starting at 112 all the way down to 821. And then another one. And then another, another, another. I can't talk anymore. It's a thing. Another one. So we've got four possible face patterns that we can use. But the benefit here is that they're much easier to edit. They're much easier to add to. They're much easier to take away from. Using tables instead of explicit commands. Uh, definitely the way to go, making use of the, the features that are available to us to allow functionality above and beyond just the basics. So um, it works pretty well. Right now, it's only using the first of those patterns on any of the monitors outside, um, but that's because I still haven't finished the routines whereby the computer down on the ground can control uh, which pattern or which face is being displayed with any of these computers up here. The other thing that I've added and this was quite a substantial amount of time, especially considering the uh, frame rate issues, is the GPS system, which is represented here that I totally missed <laughs> sometimes just with the overshooting. Oh, there we go again. We're, it's like skating when you don't want to skate. So here's a computer and you can see it's, it's got a loop, right? The whole idea with these computers is that they're, they're gonna be in a constant loop once they're up and running listening for a signal from the central computer saying, hey, I want your coordinates, and then these guys will grab their coordinates from the GPS system, send them to the central computer that will keep a list of the coordinates for all of the different modules. Now, the idea, if you're using this for a big project or if you're doing planning on doing a lot with it, is it save you a little bit of trouble with the troubleshooting if something isn't working or maybe give you an indication that something is going wrong before it completely gets out of control. So that was the idea. Uh, and you can see here we're at minus 1172X, 136Y, and minus 316Z, or Z, depending on how you like to pronounce it. Those are the coordinates for these guys that will be updated and reflect its new position anytime the head moves. So that was uh, kind of a triumph, getting that set up. Not particularly complicated, um, just not necessarily easy when you're playing at like three frames per second uh, Now I'm going to try and get outside here before we all get a decade older. I, I Have this thing about these cutting little narrow slits in the covers to get uh, in and out of things like this and when the frame rate goes to shit It's the first thing that I think I shouldn't have done you can see we're just bouncing all over the damn place. There we go. Free at last. And you'll actually notice that the frame rate will improve the farther we get away from the creeper. Such a tragedy. Now if we kind of look around here, I already saw one. We're going to head in that direction. See already the frame rate is improving. We've got computers up in the sky. Now I got these here by building dirt nerd poles all the way up, putting the computer on and then breaking the nerd poles down. And you can see also that they've got wireless modems. Well, 
a wireless modem because you can only see one computer. There's another computer up there. Can we see? Yeah, you can kind of see it. We zoom in and there's two more on the same vertical plane as this guy. And they comprise basically the meat and potatoes of the GPS system. These guys have, they're running the GPS program that comes with computer craft. I didn't have to do anything with these except use the F3 key to get their actual coordinates and then tell them you are at these coordinates and I said okay. And then once I got three of those computers set up, the fourth one when I set it up, it was able to get its own coordinates from the system. So anytime now I've got a computer within range of these guys and I say, I want to know where this computer is located, it'll be able to pull its coordinates from the GPS network. So that's kind of cool. Um, and beyond that, there's, there's nothing to them. They're just kind of floating here up in the sky. Uh, I don't know how far I could go with the Creeper before these guys were out of range. Um, all I know is we wouldn't have any difficulties uh, managing the coordinates with what I plan to do with it. So we're fine there. See down here, when I get close enough for it to render, we have finally some sort of skin on the Creeper. I had to use different colors for the monitors as opposed to the covers on the frames because just the contrast between the monitor and the frames, especially when shadows and such are coming into play. They look okay now. They look even better when the shadows are on and make the, all the lime green covers darker. Um, so it's the best that I can really do with them in terms of the colors that I'm using. So we're going to leave them like that for now. When we get to the time lapse stuff, it should reflect the, uh, the, sh the shadows and, and how they come into play. So there's that. You can see all the different incisions that I made on all the modules to put the computer craft computers in for the GPS system. Again, not a quick and easy pro process uh, at three frames per second, but it's there. And then lastly, we've got the central computer itself, which is just starting to learn how to communicate with the GPS computers and all that other crap. Um, and it'll be basically, like I say, running this, the actual scripts that move the creeper and then gathering information that shows the GPS locations of all the different modules. You can actually see much better now. There's one of the turtles, there's another one, and there's the third one, and then there's another guy that we can't see because he's way up, about, I think, 20 or 30 blocks higher. So those are, that's the GPS network. And then this guy, um, yeah, all it says is startup script run. I don't know why it's printing a question mark at the end. I'll find out, I'll fix it, it's a thing, it's not that... <laughs> There's some things that just, they're not 100% yet, but they're getting there. And that's why I wanted to show you guys, it's not like I've kind of shoved it aside and I've been playing Don't Starve or something for the last week. Uh, been working very, very hard, doing everything I can to try and resolve the lag issues. And be able to get into the game and test the scripts that I'm writing. So within a week, I would say, is the goal that I'm looking at now. Uh, to be completely honest, I want to be done with this guy. I want to be done with this guy. Um, I want to have some fun with it. I want to show it off. And then I want to um, play on a world that doesn't lag all to hell for uh, no good reason. So that's what we'll be doing. In addition to the Lua script for all of the Mega Creeper control functions, I, I'm kind of leaning towards offering a world download of my entire Ultimate 1.4.7 minus Greg Tech world so that people can decide for themselves what they want to mess around with. If they want to experience firsthand what two frames per second looks like, they can come look at the Creeper, whatever, whatever they want to do. Uh, and then I'm going to wash my hands of the whole thing. We're going to get started on our next projects. So keep your eyes peeled in your subscriber feeds for the next update video. That one will have the Lua code for your review, if that's your thing, if you want to look at it, do the final code review. And then the video after that will be just time-lapse stuff of the Mega Creeper in action. So I hope you're enjoying. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys.